Welcome to the MoneyShow.com video network. My guest today is Stuart McPhee. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you. Well, I know you give presentations around the world on the importance of having a trading plan, but you're also a technical analyst. And so I'd be interested in sort of, you know, what kind of technical methods you use. You've probably looked at quite a few and, mm -hmm. you know, maybe sort of give me your your pros and cons, things you like about certain methods and things you don't like about other methods. First and foremost, I am a technical analysis and I love looking at charts. I think the, the big advantage of looking at charts is it's the price which ultimately determines whether you make a profit or not. Uh, not other things we think about the company or instrument. Um, one of the things I, when I started out is I was very fascinated by technical indicators and we could list a hundred here and I like many others were fascinated with them. I saw them on the on the charts, these lines going everywhere and I, I, I there was something mystical about them. There was something magical and uh, we're going to give me some power if I understood what they did. Uh, at some point in, the, in time along my trading I realised these really aren't providing me much advantage, a significant edge, if you will. So I decided to go back to the basics and keep it simple. I love looking at charts. I, I look for a lot of reversal signals in my short-term trading when I trade uh, contracts for different uh, CFDs. I look for short-term reversals. My stock trading for my, my retirement fund is very much based on just medium-term trends. I do use moving averages for identifying medium-term trends. But uh, apart from just some simple peaks and troughs analysis, you know, higher peaks, higher troughs, uh, I really do try and keep it simple because simple is easy to implement, um, it's easy to follow, and it, it generally works. Hmm. And you think that too many people probably get wrapped up into the 15 technical studies and, uh, and they get more informa and information overload, which probably can decrease their confidence in their methodology and uh, make them almost inactive. Yes, I did, and I think a lot of people do. And I think when we start trading, we think trading is easy we then realize it's not so easy. So if it's not easy and it's difficult to do, clearly a more complicated, complex approach is what is required to make this work. So we see all these indicators, we try to complicate things. Trading definitely doesn't need uh, overcomplicating. It doesn't need to be complex. The, the principles, the rules that are time tested are very simple concepts. And technical analysis and keeping it simple, just looking at price, really works. Yes, people can get carried away with technical indicators. I've moved beyond that, I think. And a lot of people do eventually move through and say, you know what, they really don't provide me much. Just look at the price. Price is probably the best indicator uh, of what's happening. Thanks for joining us, Stuart. Thank you. You're very welcome. And thanks for watching the moneyshow.com video network.